Hey everyone, Sparks back with another Echo Clips video, and today I'm going to go over the basics of equipment, how you can level it up, kind of what you're working towards, what set bonuses are, and everything you'll need to kind of get yourself started with equipping your squads with some useful gear. So you can see right here, we are looking at our equipment screen. I'm in the uh, squad builder, and you can see I'm looking at my unit here down on the bottom, and we have four pieces of equipment uh, that we can use here. So these four pieces of equipment are all unique, as in like I cannot put this one up at the top here down on this one here in the bottom. So each slot requires a specific type of equipment. And basically there are two different sets of equipment. So what I'm trying to build here on this unit is a DPS build. So I want to use the offensive set. So if you look here, we have this wolf and this like curled up thing here and uh, this bird down here. Um, this is all part of the same set. This is the offensive set. And then if we look over here on this unit, um, this is actually not a good unit to have these things on here because she's another DPS, but this is just the best gear I have. And so um, this here is a defensive set of equipment. So we've got this um, boar here and we got this owl and these are the four that go together here. So the important reason you want, or the reason why it's important to know about the set is because you get a set bonus. So if we go back to the first one that I was looking at, my first three pieces of equipment here match, but this fourth one isn't part of the set. So if we look over here, the gear set uh, composition, I'm not getting this gear set buff, okay? See how these are grayed out? Because I'm not using all four uh, sets. Whereas if I go to this here, I can see I'm kind of getting part of it, but I'm not getting the full bonus uh, as if I was using all four of them. Versus if we go over back to Fenriru, Fenririru, <laughs> um, we can see that we're getting the full set bonus because we have all four matching sets here. Now, if you want to actually upgrade your equipment, you can go to preparation and then you have two different ways of upgrading it. So you can enhance and that's just the normal level, although I've reached the current level cap. So you can only level your gear twice as high as whatever your player level is. Um, so one more level and we'll be get to 69, nice. Uh, the other way of doing it, and that just requires your basic kind of credits here. Um, the other way of doing it is through the modification upgrade. And this actually requires these different um, materials here versus just the standard um, credit. So we can go ahead and level that up to seven. And there you go. You can see this also increases the stats kind of in a different way than the normal leveling up. Okay. So let's go back to our lobby here. And how do you get these pieces of equipment and all the materials for them? How do you know what you're trying to do? That is in the abyss. So if we go to patrol and then we can go to the abyssal dive, if you don't know what Abyssal Dive is, it's basically the tower mode that you find in a lot of these games. If you're a Nikkei player, it's very similar to Simulation Room. Similar idea. So you're just going to go through waves of enemies and you kind of pick up um, like temporary upgrades for yourself, fighting harder and harder levels of enemies. And in this case, we're working our way down through the Abyss. Okay, so you'll earn these credits and sometimes you'll just straight up get pieces of equipment. Um, but otherwise, you'll earn credits to buy uh, pieces of equipment. So let's go to the store here for the Abyss, and we are in the Abyssal Procurement here. If you go to Honor, this is where you can just straight up grab items that you've unlocked by reaching certain milestones in the Abyss. But here's where you can buy them. And you use these kind of like uh, microscope looking currencies. You can see I currently have about 2,500 of them. And you can do either Pioneer Procurement, which is like your sort of common equipment. Um, and then you can do Elite Procurement. Uh, which is your rare ones, these are like the SRs, and then eventually get to Trailblazer Procurement, which I haven't gotten far enough in the Abyss yet to unlock, but these are your SSR pieces of equipment. But let's go back to the Elite. So this is what I would recommend you first start trying to build. Um, you could start here, but honestly, you can get away with just kind of free gear, these like super common ones over here, you see the gray ones, um, and I probably would mostly skip like investing a lot in these um, rare ones, or at least buying them. If you just get them, feel free to level them up. But this is what I think you want to focus on first. So you can see um, these first four over here with the shark, the bird, um, the wolf, and then whatever this thing is in the corner. These four over here on the left are the DPS set of equipment. And then these ones over here with the mushroom and the owl, these four over here on the right, this is like the defensive set of equipment. So just keep that in mind. Um, 
The way that you can buy them, oh, notice that you're not buying a full piece of equipment either. So you can see right here, I'm trying to buy more of this bird. I have 20 out of 30 fragments before I can actually make that piece of equipment. And if I tap here, I can currently afford five of them. I'll go ahead and buy that. But I'm gonna need to do more of this abyssal dive to buy more of these pieces of equipment. So uh, that's kind of the basics of your equipment. And now I wanna just show you something here really quick. We're going to go into our storehouse and I have this cool um, chest here and we're gonna open up theoretically a really powerful piece of equipment called a chimera. And you have to unlock the function to actually be able to equip this. I'm not quite there yet. So once I'm able to actually use this, now it's got a neon blade. This is like a lightsaber looking thing. Very cool. This is a powerful piece of equipment, but it's different. You equip it in a totally different slot than the four we just talked about. So um, look forward to that in a video coming soon once I've unlocked the ability to actually use this. Um, but just know that there are more advanced pieces of equipment that you can get in the future as well. So let me know if you have any questions. Hopefully this kind of made the equipment equipment process a little more clear. I know as a new player jumping into Ecoclipse, there's like a ton of things going on, a bunch of just materials and currencies and stuff like that. So um, again, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Uh, feel free to join my Discord community. Link to that in the description below as well. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitch for streams every week, and I'll catch you guys in the next video or stream.